on topic of exes and dating we i think it's a good subject because while yes this this could potentially be a toxic subject but everyone out there has wanted to do this at some point or another where you want your ex to fucking regret the fact that they broke up with you or cheated on you or did whatever they did and that doesn't necessarily mean you want them back it just means you want them to be like you want them to fucking miss you yeah be like i Mm -hmm. fucked up you like it and it's you know i doesn't always work because sometimes people are just heartless as fuck and they don't really care but i feel like it's just like the fact of wanting them to see you and be like wow like they're doing really good without me so let me just tell you guys straight off the bat it's a really really a simple answer honestly because we can we will go in depth but like from experience of five six seven plus relationships And usually those people being the ones that fuck me over, I can confidently say I could probably get every single one of them back if I wanted them. Yeah. hundred percent. I see. And I, you know what? You know why? I'm too fucking nice. No, but let me tell you why. I'm going to tell you what it is though. I have been through the whole thing of like trying to do like little sneaky shit to get them back, whether that's posting a really hot Instagram picture or You know, acting out, like acting super drunk, calling them when I'm super drunk or trying to act super distant. I've tried it all. Literally, I've tried it all. And the secret is, which kind of sucks, you genuinely have to be over it for them to want you back. Mm -hmm. Because I feel like it's so easy to see right through it. Like if you guys break up and in, you know, five to seven days, you're trying to post a hot ass picture. They're going to know that you're just doing it to try to like show them that you're doing so well or whatever it may be. But like. In reality, nobody gets over a relationship in a fucking week unless you really didn't like the person. Right. So, like, I don't think it's until you're genuinely over them, whether that means you're really doing good in your life on your own and you just don't care about them or you're not thinking about them or, you know, whether you're doing good for yourself or you're not. In my opinion, I don't think it's until you're really, like, done with the thought of them in your mind and done with trying to think, oh, what can I do to get them back? It's not until then that they're going to want you. Because, like I said, I tried all the fucking tricks and I feel like, It never really works that way. I've tried being super nice and begging and writing paragraphs. And I will tell you that I think it kind of worked to my benefit. As soon as they would leave, I'd beg and beg and beg for like a day or two or a week, however long it was. Like, yeah, well, not in it, but it wasn't intentional, though. Mm -hmm. Like just looking back on it, it was like I would beg a lot. Right. And then I saw that it wasn't doing anything and it wasn't working and it wasn't healthy for me and it wasn't they didn't really want me anymore. So I forced myself to move on. But like I said, it wasn't until I genuinely moved on that they wanted me back. Right. I'm a fucking catch. So no shit they wanted me back. But. Well, I also want to ask too what you think because I personally think while this might not be the, the easiest situation for someone who's like, if you know, if a guy breaks up with you or something and you're trying to get them to, you know, like care about what you're doing or whatever, if you start hooking up with someone else and they can see it or know about it like it might piss them the fuck off and they might think negative about you but no matter what like I feel like it would I think it depends on your intentions like I think if you're if you really want that person back and you see a future and you're upset and you feel like okay it's not working now but maybe it'll work down the road I think that you should give yourself time I don't think you should go out and just hook up with somebody right away and I don't think you should do it and have it known to them and I don't think you should do it in general I think you should give yourself that time to heal that's like my mature answer. Right. <laughs> I was going to say that's you know like what the, I mean? the good it's true though. advice answer. But if you know that person was toxic and you're in a toxic fucking mood and you want to piss them off, then yeah, go fuck somebody, post it on your story. Not the fucking, but like <laughs> the person. Yeah. But like, I think it just really depends because, you know, and I think if you really care about the person, like think about it with your situation, like you guys broke up and you oh, knew yeah. it was done and you wouldn't want to make that person feel mm-hmm. like hurt on so- from so- seeing shit on social media. Well, in that situation too, though, like kind of like a mutual or like a healthier mm-hmm. breakup, I didn't I didn't want him to see anything because right. I didn't want to hurt him. Like yeah. I knew it was over. I knew I was done with it. I knew I was never going back. Mm-hmm. I didn't want to hurt his feelings. I didn't want to post anything. I didn't want him to feel sad or more sad than like both of us already did about right. it. But on the, another note, it's like when I was talking to someone who was more of like a toxic person – and screwed me over and would play games and like I saw like he posted something about him like on a date with a girl on snapchat it was like a picture of the food yeah but you could see a girl's hands across the table like did that on purpose it makes me want to be like fuck you and start posting with right a guy well that's that's normal and I think that's fine and you know whatever like I said if you're if it's someone toxic and you're in a toxic mood fucking do what you need to do 
but I think genuine, like generally, I always get that mixed up. Genuinely speak, gener- generally speaking, <laughs> generally speaking, I think that to start, I think if it's your ex, it's your ex for a reason. Mm-hmm. And I believe that if anything is going to work out with one of your exes, like you guys, you think you're meant to be, but it's not working right now. I think that if it's meant to be, it'll happen. Just not in that moment. Like maybe it'll take a year or two years or three years. But in that time, work on yourself. Like learn to be alone because I will tell you that like I was in relationships for like eight years straight, just back to back to back to back. I never took a fucking break because I didn't know how to be alone and it made me sad and miserable and whatever else. Um, and it, it worked it, at the time. It worked. It was like I just kept carrying the love and the feelings I had for one person over to the next <laughs> person. And it worked. It was like I never had to be alone. But it wasn't until I was alone that I learned like how to be happier with myself and how like really – open my eyes to what I want and then when I saw and found what I wanted I was like yeah this is what I want Mm -hmm. aka your brother right (laughs) I